Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913. I'm Ghosty Films, and, and I, I have low self-esteem. Oh, I was gonna <laughs> say I have high self-esteem. Oh, I have got the lowest. Yeah, you know my self-esteem has been on the rise ever since a certain event that I can't talk about at this point, but eventually might or might not be able to talk about. It. End of story, right there. Hmm. But anyways, low self-esteem, man. We're gonna talk. We're gonna tackle this issue today. Nice. So, um, I know people have low self-esteem. You know, they look at themselves and they go, Mah. That's exactly the sound that I make. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I do it too. I used to go, Mah. I mean, I still have, I'll tell, I have moderate self-esteem. <laughs> it's not low and it's really not high, but apparently, I don't know. But anyways, so low self-esteem. People with low self-esteem, they wake up in the morning. They got a mirror in their house, and they just look at it, and they go, nah, almost like a cow. And so, uh, they're, uh, you know what? Apparently, people with low self-esteem are half cows. But uh, apparently, um, uh, low self-esteem, man. Men. I know men who have low self-esteem, right? Okay. And uh, apparently, women do too. Yeah, which apparently. Which I did not know my... I was talking with my sister just a little while ago and she was discussing how there are women in this world who have low self-esteem, Dan. Now I thought, I thought that uh, men, well I figure women have low self-esteem too, but they got women? Uh -huh. Whoa! Yeah. Ladies? People have vaginas who yeah, don't they, like themselves? Yeah, it's crazy because like I know a bunch of guys who are like, See, they do that, and it's, uh, they're just, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I was just going to talk about how I did, uh, oh, never mind, that's awesome, you guys are awesome, <laughs> sorry, sorry, my parents brought home donuts, <laughs> 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 who doesn't love donuts, <laughs> right, and not Dunkin' Donuts either, these are Neil's Donuts, you know what, I'll throw a shout out to Neil's, what, where they live, Wallingford? Friggin' Wallingford, Connecticut. You ever down in Wallingford, Connecticut? I don't know why you would be, but maybe you will because uh, there's donuts there. Neil's Donuts, and they're amazing. Get them. They'll blow Duncan out of the water or wherever the hell you get your donuts. They're way better. Anyway, so back to low self-esteem. I eat because I have low self-esteem. <laughs> it's like a vicious cycle, but no, seriously. I didn't know there were women, women who think supposedly penis is magic. Yeah. Like my sister was saying. She's the old magic wand. Yeah. See, but see, the thing is with dudes with low self-esteem, they don't get chicks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they can't yeah, go... Yeah, that's they interesting. Can't, they can't go vagina is magic because they don't get vagina. That's how the low self-esteem thing works. That's why I was... I was fa I'm fascinated. I'm, I want to go out into the world and do some research. I'm doing that in air quotes. With low self-esteem women. You know what I mean? And hmm. see if vagina or penis really is magic you know what i mean hmm. i just want no i you know what thank you for telling me that phrase because it's a good phrase it's kind of interesting how it's how it works out like that the guys with low self-esteem they're like can't. what what you know they're like man i'm never gonna be able to get a girl yeah and but like, women when they have low self-esteem they just go around and have sex with yeah, everything yeah or they might have a lot of unprotected Wait. sex and children then why are you saying no? Isn't that what I just learned? Yeah, I just learned from that too. From a sex too. nerd? I just learned that. Not all of them. All right. right, all right. Fair We're not enough. saying every single person who has low self-esteem. Well, I'm not smart enough to not think in generalizations. Yeah. So anyways, apparently, you know, but that's the thing about ladies, man. What about them? They can just, like, I was listening to various comedians and whatnot. You know, ladies, they can just go out and say, hey, anyone want to bang me? And then there'll be lines of fellas. Yeah. All over the place that would be like, yeah, I would love to bang you. Like, surely, all right? She's got seven dudes that want to bang her. She is 4,000 years old. <laughs> yeah, she's over two millennia. All right? And uh, she's four millennia old, right? Yeah. She's almost older than Christ. Wow. <laughs> she, her and Christ were probably besties. She could, <laughs> she could resolve a lot of historical... Uh, you know, you know, factual things and just tell us what the deal was. Yeah. But anyways, Dan, you know, you know, and dudes, they can't just go, hey, ladies, come pick up the pee-pee, because none of the girls ever do that, because 
guys have to try. So they have to try yeah. to get to hook up. You know what I mean? Where the ladies can just be like, hey, you want to boop, boop, boop? And then dudes are like, yeah, sure, whatever. You know what I mean, Dan? Uh -huh. It's just, uh, I, don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. But again, I don't know. I just think, uh, so the low self-esteem girls will just go around picking up dudes. Or, and then, like, see, this is why we need that third guest here. Yeah. So that we could, we could freaking get, we can get, uh, the, the, you know, some more information. We can stop fumbling and yeah, stuttering and yeah, stammering. Yeah, like, butter, and you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But, I like butter, but, uh, so, yeah, if you're, you have low self-esteem and you're watching our videos, let us in on what's going on with you, because I want to know. Cause I'm now, I am almost fascinated now. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm on that point of, of fascination where I'm like, man, low self-esteem. Okay. This has almost grabbed the attention of my low attention yeah. span. Yeah. But the thing is, Dan, I right, low attention, uh, low attention span. Yeah. Now let's get on. No, no, no. Low self-esteem. Okay. The thing is with that, couldn't you get rid of it? Like if someone was giving you compliments and whatnot, so wouldn't that, like, get rid of it? You'd be like, man, you look so good today. Like, oh, I'm not that good. They're like, no, you really, you really look really nice. And they're like, nah, and then you're like, God, woman, or man, whoever you're talking to, fucking get, get your fucking Ow. head out of your, ah, you got scalded by a serpent, man. While I was getting beaten up from behind. Yeah, because you have low self-esteem. That's right. Or I, terrible battle tactics. Sometimes when I'm, I get low self-esteem, and I just start like I walk around with my head just hanging low, and uh -huh. I don't pay attention to who's around me because yeah. I'm I have this mopey hangdog face on my on my mug, and uh -huh. I am, I am oblivious to the things that are around me. See, and th that's the thing too, Dan. It's like you got this mopey, droopy dog expression. And you know what? You you, you know how supposedly girls love little puppies and all that yeah. and stuff. It's like, that doesn't even work. Like, if you try to Wait. genetically modify your face to look like a puppy, <laughs> they still want to hang out with you. It's like, I know. You can't win. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you can't. I have done all this research on how to make I know. my head look, look like, like a, a puppy. puppy's head on top of a human body. <laughs> yeah. And, and it just doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. It's just like, uh, you know... I don't know. There's plenty of things chicks dig. Like I don't turn myself into a bunch of flowers. I know that never works. Right. I've tried it once or twice. Are we talking because we actually have something to say, or because we're trying to cover up other conversations? No, I'm, um, I have something to say. All uh, right. I thought we were just babbling. No, Dan. I <laughs> I have I have figured. I you know what, Dan? I've done a lot of research on womankind and how to score. And whatnot. All right, this is this other guy. All right? Maybe I should do that. There's a guy on YouTube who talks about how uh, he talks about he talks about trying to hook up with chicks, but he's never been with a chick. He's never hooked up with a chick either. So it's like it's like taking directions from a blind guy on where whatever is. But you know what? I've been doing extensive research. So uh, and by extensive, I mean not so much. Cool. And. and uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I'm women, lost. women like flowers. All right, but if you turn yourself into a bunch of flowers, they don't find that very attractive. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure how you know this other than I've tried, Dan. I've, when I've, you I've, did, you, was I it have back stapled when you were... flowers to my body, and they're like, "Hey, look at this," and then they just they're like, "Ugh." Ugh, gross. I, see, I thought you were going a different. Gross. I thought it was when you were hanging around with that uh, magician pal friend of yours. Oh yeah, yeah, it might have been that too. No, he didn't turn me into flowers. He turned me into like a box of chocolates, and then he tried to give it to some lady. But you know how the magicians are—they were teams of huge dickheads. So she just threw the. Yeah. What are you going like that for? So she just threw the friggin'. My mom's giving me the look like, why are you swearing? Like just. Speak on the topics we just talked about. I know. Anyway, so the magician, uh, you know, he, he gave the chit, you know, he's talking like, hey, you probably wouldn't even like these. Maybe you shouldn't have any of these. Look at your size of your, your, the girth of your body. And then the girl just took the flowers and threw them on the ground. And it was a few hours before I turned back into a human. 
But that was that are box we, of chocolates. Are we chocolates. still talking about magicians? Yes, Dan. He turned me into a box of chocolates to see if I would like... If uh, ladies like chocolate. And then he was just mocking them about their girth. And then that was it, Dan. Game over. I got thrown on the ground and stomped on quite a bit. He said you could take those fucking things and shove them. And I was like, man, I don't want to be shoved up the wizard's ass. Thank God I wasn't. All right, Dan? And it was a spell because he's a wizard. And I turned into a box of chocolates, and then a few hours later, I was back to normal with a uh, with a herniated disc because <laughs> because <laughs> she stepped on me, Dan. It was painful. You know about those, those box of chocolates? They're flimsy, and so is my spine, apparently. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't. You, you don't even know where to go with that. Do I don't you? understand what just happened. Oh, Dan, a wizard. Uh, I was talking. Wait, I thought. All right, my wizard friend Dan. I was talking to my wizard friend. All right, we we're talking about what do ladies like, and he says, "Oh, you know, I finally convinced them that women like chocolate." So we say, "Okay, they, they like chocolate, huh? Well, let's put this theory to the test." So what he did was he turned me into a box of chocolates. All right, he went on a date with a lady. He gave the chocolates to the lady, but the thing was, since he's the wizard. And he's a jerk, Dan, like we were discussing a few episodes ago. You know, wizards are usually pompous jagoffs. I remember he was, that. Yes, yeah, see, and he was saying, he was telling the woman that maybe, here's a box of chocolates, even though you probably shouldn't eat them because of your girth. You understand? So, right, right. So he was giving, he, I think he just did it on purpose so I can get my spine herniated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just totally destroyed my discs. I gotta, I gotta have spinal fusion surgery. It's not gonna be fun, Dan. And it's all the wizard's fault. I like and you know what? <laughs> just, let me just quickly finish. Uh, for all the magic the wizard knows, he, don't, he doesn't know any spells that could put my friggin' spine back in order. Is this a true story? This is 100% true. Now continue. Um, what are you gonna say? I, I, well, I thought I was under the impression that you were just making this up, and I thought no. it was fascinating that you came up with this giant, elaborate history behind this made-up story, but now I... I I can clearly see that it was a true story. No, it's so. a 100% true story. All right, I, I'm with the, you. You know how you know that it was a true story is because of all the minor details that were in it. Yeah, yeah. And you know why would like who would make that? Who would make a story like that up? A, a raving lunatic no, would be the person yeah. who would make up a story I like think that. So. I think and, so. And and clearly you're one. Of, you're one of the most sane people I know. I know. Probably. I know, Dan. So yeah, it's got to be got to be 100% true. Yeah, and and apparently the wizard knows nothing about women. Yep. Or, or no. You you know what? Probably that chocolate would have worked. And then, but then again, if I, if she ate me, I'd be like digested in her body for a couple days and then I'd be crapped out. Like, how would that work? You know what? In a way, he did me a favor by having my spine get herniated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like totally crushing my spine. I hear you. So, you know what, Mr. Wizard? Thanks a lot. And I don't even mean that sarcastically. Speaking of Mr. Wizard, I wonder if this wizard that we're, this wizard character that we're yeah. playing, goes and helps children how to learn how to understand scientific concepts in the no. off season when he's no. not fighting the Korax. Here's the here's the reason why he's not doing that Dan. Science and magic. They're like oil and water, they don't mix. You know what I mean? Hmm. Alright? Alright. When you're teaching science when you're yeah, teaching yeah. magic is all about the unexplainable. You can do this because what? It's magic. You know what I mean? But with, with science, there's always a theory, and there is always some way to prove that something exists or something like that. And if it doesn't, guess what? It doesn't exist. You know what I mean, Dan? All right. Well, how can you prove that something doesn't exist? Oh, you, you, uh, you use magic to figure that out. Because I've always, like, I... But then if you're, if you're... Oh, yeah, continue. Going back to this whole Bigfoot thing, like, one of the things uh -oh. that they always rely on is that you can't prove a negative. You yeah, can't they... prove that something isn't necessarily, or doesn't exist. Yeah. All right, I, don't, I have no idea how we got to this point. No, but you know, no, I know how we got there. We're talking about magic, all right, Dan? Did magic really exist? Who knows? I know Magic Johnson's around, and he's, and he's doing fairly well, even though he's got the hip. And, you know, I, if I ever get the hip, I would want his hip, all right? Because he's got hip that would make would make him like live for it. It's gonna seem like uh, till the end of his actual life. But uh, no, um, magic. Okay, magic. Like I said, is all about the unexplainable. Right? 
That's what Bigfoot is. If you can't explain him, that's what you go to. All right, magic. All right. I don't necessarily. Uh... All right, then you know, and I'm not talking about magic as in how oh, look. I got, I had a. What card is it? Oh, nine of hearts. Oh yeah, you had nine of hearts. I'm talking about actual magic. Like there used to be people then that would be able to to harness not only the power of magic but the power of science. And I don't even know what those people would be called. Alchemists? Maybe. That's not a bad idea. They're alchemists. Did you know that Newton, that Isaac Newton was an alchemist? Yeah, I wish I was an alchemist. If I could turn friggin' whatever into gold, I would do it. Yeah, me too. I would, yeah, because then I have gold, and then I'd be able to buy stuff with it. Like, stuff that would make my life easier. Yeah. Like, like a donut, or maybe, like... How does a donut make your life easier? Because I'll have breakfast for tomorrow. <laughs> That's how I'll make my life easier. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right, that was a perfectly <laughs> like I when I heard, first heard that I thought, wow, this is insane babbling. But when you answered that, yeah, it makes perfect yeah, sense. It's like you know what? Start off small, Dan. That's why yeah. I always say, start off small. Why get too greedy? Yeah, not not like the first thing I'm gonna go out and buy a fucking a brand new car. No, I'm gonna go get a donut. Yeah, makes sense. It's, it's, you know what? I, I, you are a practical son of a gun. Yeah, because tomorrow is breakfast, and I'm gonna eat something. That's one less thing you have to think about for tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. And then you can start thinking about other things, like, like, do I need a car? Would I like a new house? This, that, and the other. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hear you. All right. That would be fun. Oh man, dude, these guys don't stop. Yeah, they don't stop. So you get it up, oh. right? You got it up or something up. Whoa. Oh damn! You just, these guys are everywhere. Yeah, they just they they they're infinite in this level. They just uh, keep reappearing. That sucks, Dan. Get what? out of my face! Yeah, so you better hurry up and find where the hell you're looking for. I'm trying. I was trying to find health, but I mean, if I'm gonna die trying to find health, it's probably not worth yeah. it. Yeah. Hit stop. <clears throat> yeah. Look at that. So Dan, what what is your opinion on brisket? I don't know if I've had brisket in a long time. Yeah, well it's good. That's why we should have went. Uncle Willie's. That would've been good. Hmm. Look at that. Today is like this food advertisement episode. Yeah, I know. Go to Uncle Willie's if you're ever in West Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> Check it out because it's delicious. It's southern food and make great brisket. Yeah, that's right. I'm making some plugs here, all right? Uncle Willie's, all right, to be fair, they sent me a check made of meat, and I ate it, and uh, it was delicious. I'm not going to lie to you, all right? Whoa. Dan, when you get a meat check in the mail, are you going to tell me you're not going to deposit it into your rectum? I think you should. Of course, you have to withdraw it later when you're in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Dan? You can't keep things forever. That's what I say. You know what, there's been a lot of little kernels of fun and stuff in this episode, I think. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I think th most of it is just me being confused. Yeah, well, Dan, when you listen to somebody who's confusing, you're going to get confused, totally. Alright, makes sense. Yeah. Valid points. <laughs> yeah, see, I just keep making them. God, I'm good. You are you are a fountain of knowledge. Yeah. Are, you, are we still in the sewer here? No, we're going in the sewer now. Oh, we also we weren't in the sewer before. No, we Did were you in. Just fall? Dungeon. Yeah, it's it was kind of it's kind of weird how cool. you just fall to the next level. No, I'm not. Well, at least it's different than going in a damn portal every time. Yeah, you're like you're stumbling through the dark and then you just fall into one of those ethereal yeah, travel things. That'd be the worst time to fall into a toilet. It's kind of alarming. Like if I like I've I've developed this habit since I've started playing this game, where if I start to fall, I just hit escape and reload my game before I hit the bottom, because I, like, hitting the bottom is just so distasteful to me. Like, it's just, it, it freaks me out when I'm, I'm falling and I want to, I want to save my guy, because, you know, you get attached to your guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I just hit escape before I hit the bottom, but if I, if I develop that habit before I, you know, before I got to that part, then I, maybe I never would have found that way to the next level. True. Because, right. like, I, 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 I was stumbling through the dark, and the next thing I know, falling and I you know I didn't know that I was gonna fall into something like that mm -hmm. so anyway well back we're back in the sewer now I've always thought that this that these I these want these swampy guys 
Oh, your player was dead by a stalker. Yeah. I've always thought it was kind of weird how, like, when you're looking for these guys... They just jump out at you and they, like, touch you. Well, no, you know how, the, like, people in the south, they go noodling? No, what's that? It's like when you walk around in the water and you feel around with your, either your toes or your or your thumbs and you fi you feel catfish and you pull them out of the water with your hands and it's like when you're fighting those guys sometimes it's like you're just feeling around in the swamp with your feet and then you then eventually you can't move anymore because you've tripped over one of those guys yeah. and then he'll jump up in your face and you gotta like nail him before he kills you mm -hmm. and it's kind of weird I've always thought it was kind of an awkward way of uh, so Dan let me them. let me ask you this question Do, does uh does the wizard character have some sort of blood sucking ability like the uh, cleric? Nope. The cleric is the only guy who has that. So let's kill this guy, Dan, and call it a day for today. Alright. And not a day, but this is finished recording. We'll start another one. This has been Kenji1913. And Ghosty Films.